Hey there, one up Indie here coming with another advanced video tutorial for Game Maker. And today we're gonna do some advanced stuff. Why advanced? Because uh, we can do some really bad shenanigans with that. You can make some players really, or users pretty angry if you do it wrong. So what am I talking about? Well, it's about mouse positions and therefore we actually have uh, two positions, not just one, so the regular one, so which I call here real, which is uh, somewhere on in your room. You have a second one, which is on the GUI. But if you're seeing like, uh, but the values are the same. What up, Indy? Are you lying to us? No, there's actually a bigger context to add. And of course, if you want to move, for example, your mouse to a specific position concerning depending uh, on your window, then here we go, we can do that. And of course, for scaling four buttons, but that I will show after the intro. So stay tuned. This is One Up Indie. I am a developer, so if you like what you're seeing and hearing, then why not consider sharing, liking, and subscribing to the channel, of course. So a few things to note. Uh, first of all, what you're seeing on the screen is basically just giving back the values of the mouse position for the reel, which is based on the thing in the room, and then the GUI, which is based on the window on the display, which is basically a true one-to-one -one value because everything outside of your, well, your desktop and for example in the window is a true value in the sense of true GUI because there are no scalings here. So a little bit misleading, hopefully not. So let's say you have a room and then you have different kind of positions. So let's say we are in our mouse somewhere here or here. Then if you just uh, see uh, the bottom left corner, uh, those two values, they are the X and Y positions, which are based for the room. And here the view of the camera does matter. So let's say we're having two, those two buttons and um, one, the red one is the GUI one. So basically we have a draw GUI event for this dude. And then for the regular draw event, then we got this one. And for now we have no zooming, everything is one to one. So therefore, all the values are the same. But let's do this. What? Uh, so let's say we zoom in quite a lot. As you can see, this button has this still has the same, first of all, position, and second of all, the same size. So here, it is basically like a sticker, which is the idea behind GUI, graphical user interface uh, things, which should be unaffected. So I don't know, a health bar, buttons, whatever. And then of course this dude is represented of the regular draw event. So I don't know, you want to zoom in a little bit in your game because everything would be a little bit too small maybe. So this is the idea behind the regular draw event. So to get the normal, I don't know, position of your uh, mouse, it's kind of easy. So you say mouse, ne, mouse X and mouse Y and boom here. Uh, this value you can read out, but what you cannot do is set it. So here, this position is a read only value. So that means you cannot set it manually to a specific position in the room. Because first of all, it would make no sense because your mouse is not bound. Well, your mouse cursor is not bound to your to your game. It's actually bound to your desktop. So this is kind of important to understand in this kind of regard. So how can we, uh, if we have, for example, those neat looking uh, GUI elements, how can we get the position here? Because um, this is not based on the, on the room. And then for example, the position in the room, this is based on your display or on your windows. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, very, very similar in this kind of regard. Well, the, to get those values, you can use device mouse X uh, to GUI from, for the X position and device mouse Y to GUI. This is basically just, um, yeah, first of all, zero just means for your first mouse plugged in. And then it's just calculating the mouse position in your window. So this is kind of important. And then. Um, this is what I'm reading out here. So this is this thing. And of course here, uh, these once again are read 
only. So how can we actually manipulate the mouse and make some people really, really angry if we, for example, lock the mouse all the time in one position? Well, this is what I did here. I'm just pressing control and then I just say like, hey, to a random position, uh, XX and YY. So basically I'm just giving it some random position and then it says window mouse set. Of course there's display uh, mouse set, here we go. This is kind of similar, but let's go for window because this is good enough because we want to have uh, the mouse being uh, set into the window. So let's go into our thing so for example if we are pressing control nothing would happen yep because we are not actively for example once we press on it now the windows window is active and then um, we are just jumping and this is how you manipulate and change your mouse position that of course once again you can make some people really angry if you just uh, lock it into one position and people cannot move their mouse after that there is a thing how you can unlock it basically turning off your PC, which would be kind of super annoying. But of course you can do it with Alt and Tab and then you pretty much uh, get rid of that. So here, once again, there are a few games which did that and then we're just locking your mouse into center position or whatever. Yeah. So here, once again, very please be careful with that. And then um, we are pretty much done. The idea actually was for me just to show you that, for example, scaling does matter. So um, the draw event, so the player and whatever, and things which have a zoom, um, you can grab them with a regular X and Y positions. And then if you, for example, want to click on a GUI button like this, then you need to get them, for example, by this. So for example, device mouse X to GUI. So hopefully that was uh, informative and now you know how to slay this dragon and then uh, people getting really angry because uh, <laughs> now you're pretty much uh, making their desktop mouse, uh, well, useless. Alrighty, that was it from my side. Have a good one. One up indeed.